what you sow. It could be the price you pay. You could lose it all, Ted, but be faithful. God will take you through the fire. And when you come out on the other side, you'll have a piece the Bible says passes all understanding. All I can say is I just knew he was right. Okay, so obviously the Lord intervened and your wife, Melanie, had love and forgiveness in her heart, probably with some conditions. Well, you know, that, that's, a, that's a whole other story, Marcus. I mean, you know, my wife witnessed me two days after this confession because we joined Pastor Hal at this big youth rally that he was taking his kids to. The, the, the featured speaker was a guy you probably know, Reggie Dabbs. Oh, yeah. We love Reggie. And he is tremendous. And yeah. uh, he, uh, when, he, when he gave the invitation that day, now, I had just read Maximized Manhood by Ed Cole. Great book. And it beat me up and turned me inside out talking about godliness and, and, and uh, being a maximized man, a man of character and integrity. And I wanted to crawl under a rock somewhere when I recognized who I really was. But when that invitation was given, God wanted to know one thing. Are you willing to set aside your image? Wow. And this that has controlled your life for the last 20 years, your, your pride, and come to me. And I got out of my chair, and I, I, I basically ran forward. Mm. I fell on my face, and I cried like a baby. Thank God. Uh, my wife witnessed all of this and uh, came to me and said, I'm not going to make you a promise I can't keep uh, because I'm hurt and I'm angry, and I, I don't know if I'm strong enough. She said, See, that's Every, understandable. Yes, and she said, everything in my flesh says run. She said, but I watched what you did here today, and... and you know, and I had confessed and I had begged forgiveness. Uh, and she said, you know, I have to pray and ask God for his discernment. God, is he sorry or is he just sorry he got caught? Oh, yeah. She said, but I want you to know something. Either way, I've forgiven you because God wow. calls on me to forgive you. Would you say that <clears throat> to women that are watching today, no matter what condition their husband is in spiritually and emotionally, to never give up? Never give up. Never give up. I, I know that uh, my wife didn't. My wife prayed for me for a long, long time, and uh, uh, you know. And one of the things that I that I I try to tell people as I speak in churches is that my wife saw the tears, and and she saw me fall on my face, and she 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 heard me beg for forgiveness. But but the difference in our marriage is that that over the course of the next couple of years we went. You know, it was no, it was no, okay, it's over, let's go on. It was her trying to get rid of those horrible images in her head and, and me trying to win back trust and, oh, yes. and, and all those things. And as, as, as I stepped out and became the spiritual leader of my home, walked in integrity, uh, you know, began to serve my family as God called me to, and that's one of the things I hit men with all the time. Is you're you're to be a servant husband. That's right. And I says I, as I began to do that, as as my life began to bear fruit, that's when the trust came back. That's when 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 the marriage came back to not only be healed but far beyond what it's ever been. And 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 that's the same thing Jesus must see in us. Not not that we go forward at a church service and say the sinner's prayer and weep a few tears. You might think you got your tickets punched, but if your life doesn't bear fruit then you didn't get it. That's right. Well, it's a process. Healing is a process. Amen. Whether it's spiritual, emotional, or physical, and time heals a lot of wounds, but that getting in there, being faithful, submitting to God, let Him be first placed in your life, that will make the difference. Well, I'm holding in my hand the book entitled Every Man Has His Price. The, the true story of wrestling's million-dollar man, you can get that on the website for Ted DiBiase. That information is coming up on the screen. Ted DiBiase, you're still a champion in my book. God bless you, sir. And this has been a special segment of Daystar Sports. <laughs>